Hello, welcome to another MCU solving video because this was a demanding video from your end. So how to solve MCQs like a topper? A topper also doesn't know answer to each and every question thrown in the exam. Hardly among 200 questions, he or she knows 120 questions. The rest he or she marks approximately 60 to 70 questions is by ruling out options now in real exam scenario if you have ruled out two options then you need to mark that question if you are not marking it it is a criminal offense let me show you with an example see you are marking five questions where you have ruled out two options but you don't have clue regarding those two options which you haven't ruled out so approximately if you have five questions, then in a good possible scenario, you get three correct and two wrongs. Then you get a plus 10 marks. In the worst possible scenario, you get two correct and three wrong. Still, you get plus five. And that is why you should never miss out a question where you have ruled out two options. In case of the two options, if you can't make an educated guess then go with your first intuition because in studies it has been shown that our first intuition is 70 percent correct today what mcqs i have taken these are all long stem clinical mcqs that follow the recent neat pg and nict pattern also the fmg is becoming more and more long stem question based and some are pyqs also so let's start with the first question in the question a 60 year old male patient with two weeks history of productive cough, fever and shortness of breath, maybe a case of pneumonia. A chest x-ray radiogram was shown below which of the following is the appropriate therapy. Now in the radiograph what main thing we can see is that here is an abnormality. Here we can see there is an air fluid level because this is opaque and this is a radio lucent so this is the air and this is the fluid and air fluid level is seen in anaerobic infection now the question asked what is the most important therapy so these are called two layered questions means it is not asking you the diagnosis you have to make the diagnosis after that you have to answer the question what it has asked so in the question it is asked what is the most appropriate therapy so for anaerobic infections above the diaphragm if it is it is always clindamycin and below the diaphragm it is metronidazole okay so in case of amebs is the drug of choice is metronidazole but in case of above the diaphragm it is clindamycin coming to the next question a 30 year old female comes to you in OPD with neck swelling. Okay, neck swelling. History of weight loss and palpitations going towards hyperthyroidism. On examination, she has exophthalmos. So, this is Graves. So, this is Graves ophthalmopathy. Which of the following is not true? Okay, these are the keywords. Not is the keyword. While you are reading in time crunch phase also, you need to see the last line of the question. It is the most vital. Severe disease can cause vision loss. Not sure, but might cause. So this is plus minus I am giving. No specs criteria is used for this condition. I totally have no idea about no spec criteria. 10% of the isolated cases is present without hyperthyroidism. I don't know the percentage, but yes, without hyperthyroidism, also Graves' disease can occur. So I am keeping it in plus and minus. And condition will improve simultaneously with improvement of the thyrotoxic state. No, this is a completely wrong statement. So this will be the correct answer because thyroid ophthalmopathy is caused by the glycose aminoglycan deposition in the orbit. So if the hyperthyroid state is controlled also you cannot dissolve the glycosaminoglycans and the fibrosis that has taken place it is irreversible so this statement is wrong ki uh, 
मतलब हाइपोथायरॉयड ठीक हो जाने से तुम्हारा ऑप्थेलमोपैथी भी ठीक हो जाएगा सो दिस इज कंप्लीटली रॉन्ग स्टेटमेंट इन दिस क्वेश्चन आई डिडेंट नो अबाउट द अदर ऑप्शन बट आई नो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन सो डायरेक्टली मार्किंग इट इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल एंड इफ यू आर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो टिल नाउ देन डू कंसिडर सब्सक्राइबिंग इट विल मोटिवेट मी टू मेक मोर सर्च वीडियोज फॉर यू कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन अ पेशेंट विथ टाइप वन डायबिटीज टाइप वन डायबिटीज मीन्स ऑटो इम्यूनिटी अगेंस्ट द बीटा सेल्स विथ थर्ड स्टेज बीटा सेल डैमेज आई डोंट हैव एन आइडिया बट आई विल हैव टू मार्क एन ऑप्शन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सिचुएशन इज एसोसिएटेड विद द सेम दिस इज टाइप वन डायबिटीज एज आई सेट दैट ऑटो इम्यूनिटी इज देयर सो ऑटो इम्यूनिटी नेगेटिव विल नॉट बी द ऑप्शन नाउ आई हैम लेफ्ट विथ टू ऑप्शन now i have to make an educated guess so that my probability of getting this answer correct increases so this is in stage 3 not in stage 1 or 2 so i think that dysglycemia will happen and it should happen because it is in stage 3 and i am going to go with autoimmune positivity and dysglycemia like this with limited knowledge you have to mark an educated guess when you have ruled out two options now what is the novelty of a video by a former topper is that a student doesn't have the complete knowledge about all the subjects but with the limited knowledge how he or she is solving the mcqs that only i want to highlight you which you can't get in the faculty ones because faculties know each and everything about the options so unke liye to koi baat hi nahi hai rule out option karna but a person who is doing all the 19 subjects for him to rule out options in a limited knowledge is the real game that i want to show you a patient in er who had a 2 cm deep laceration on cheek after a rta was managed by you your unit choose the option with the correct type of suture and the time of suture removal so polygalactin is absorbable suture you won't use absorbable suture on cheek because you want to remove it so ye to pura puri controversial hai an absorbable suture is there and you are going to remove it so ye dono to rule out ho gaya pehle hi now the twist lies that i know in 5 days it is removed but there is an option with 3 to 5 days and 5 to 7 days um with my intuition i mark the question and it was 3 to 5 days though this is a controversial question and 5 to 7 days is also correct according to many sources but uh, in the marrow it was given 3 to 5 days only so these are kind of controversial question that can come in your exam so i have kept a controversial question in my mcq discussion video also next question is a 58 year old man presents with fungating mass on the glans penis along with inguinal lymphadenopathy probably a case of penile cancer a biopsy reveals a poorly differentiated squamous cell cancer further histological examination shows small hyperchromatic cells with destructive invasive pattern which of the following is the histological subtype let's see the options because i don't know the answer verrucous carcinoma plus minus i am not sure papillary carcinoma papilla means finger like projections in any papillary cancer there will be finger like projections so i am ruling out this one conventional or usual squamous cell carcinoma in usual squamous cell carcinoma i think i am going to see the classical features like the keratin pearl so keratin pearl is missing so i am also going to rule out this option i am left with verrucous carcinoma and basiloid carcinoma i am going to mark basiloid carcinoma because in the question it is telling small hyperchromatic cells if you see the skin the basal cells they have hyperchromatic nucleus in bcc also you see nest of blue cells blue is the color of the nucleus so in bcc also there is basal cells and there is hyperchromatic nucleus so i am going to go for basiloid cancer like this you have to correlate your knowledge 
ऑफ अदर सब्जेक्ट विद दैट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन सो मैंने इसको ऐसे करके को रिलेट करा एंड आई गॉट द करेक्ट आंसर ओनली नाइनटीन परसेंट मार्क इट करेक्टली सो आई होप तुम लोगों को समझ में आ रहा है कि कैसे करके दूसरा एक गुड डिस्टेंस जिसका कोई रिलेशन नहीं है उसको को रिलेट करना पड़ेगा तुम्हारे एम सी क्यू जो तुम्हारा स्क्रीन के सामने आएगा अ थर्टी फाइव ईयर ओल्ड मैन इज रेस्क्यूड फ्रॉम रबल ऑफ अ कोलैप्सिंग बिल्डिंग ट्वेल्व आवर्स आफ्टर एन आर्थक्वेक ही वॉज ट्रैप्ड अंडर हेवी डेब्रीज हिज लोअर लिम्ब कंप्रेस अपॉन द रेस्क्यू ही अपियर डिस ओरियंटेड वीक सोलन लेग्स एंड टेंस लेग्स emergency responders gave iv fluids transported him to the hospital on arrival he was hypotensive tachycardic and ebg was performed what is the least likely so here the keyword is the least don't miss the least word to be observed now as his muscles were compressed for a long period of time it is called the crush syndrome in crush syndrome the muscles are compressed and the muscle fibers are broken down so muscles are broken now muscles is a rich store for potassium potassium will be released in the blood stream so high potassium hyperkalemia will be there when there is hyperkalemia what cell does it uptakes the potassium and it releases hydrogen so there will be increase potassium along with that metabolic acidosis from muscles also phosphate is released now this phosphate will bind with the calcium of blood to form calcium phosphate and there will be hypocalcemia so least likely observed will be the hypercalcemia because hypocalcemia will occur another option is elevated pt and aptt it can also occur in case of consumptive coagulopathy that is dic because coagulation can occur in the injured muscle tissues and it can cause further consumptive coagulopathy so hypercalcemia is the correct answer a 16 year old girl presents with primary amenorrhea obesity okay obesity short stature intellectual disability many diseases we see intellectual disability so this is not a pointer amenorrhea is a pointer obesity is a pointer on examination has hypotonia underdeveloped secondary sexual characteristic hormonal low fsh and lh level what is the most likely diagnosis so low fsh lh can be seen in internals also all of the cases more or less it is seen now people mostly mark kalman syndrome but in kalman syndrome what we see is that the olfactory placode is not properly developed due to which anosmia would have been given but anosmia is not given in the question in question what pointer is given obesity and obesity is associated with the pradal willi syndrome turner syndrome it will show web necks and all swear syndrome it will say a genetic uh, makeup of 46 xy and other things so uh, this was a simple one you need to keep a watch on the keywords because aajkal kya ho raha hai bahut hi long stem questions aa rahe hai so you need to mark the buzzwords to computer screen mein to mark nahi kar paoge try to slide your finger and on the buzzwords you point them okay so that you remember which is the best word in the question if you like this video i will request you to share it with your friends because if this video gets more than 10000 views then i will make another mcq solving video on neat pg 2024 previous year questions because neat pg 2024 was a bit different it was more image based and it was more long stem based questions now you can see a video on how neat pg is different from the inict exam and another mcq solving video so if you have free time go watch them now and all the best for your neat pg and inict